Hey guys. So, welcome, welcome. It seems like some people are freaking out because I created the thumbnail early. Just a reminder, the lives are always at six. <laughs> and so sometimes I will put up the thumbnail and whatnot, but that just means it's coming. And that way also you guys get notified a little bit earlier instead of possibly missing it. But anyways, how's everybody doing? I hope everybody's doing good. I figured we'd do some fun projects tonight. Uh, my friend Judy asked me about uh, painting over resin. So we're going to do that tonight on this one that I'm not super fond of. So I'm going to paint on top of that. And then also I have this really cute little uh, geode that I did that I thought I would just actually add some gold leafing to and then another layer of resin and show you guys how I do that and then probably one more project as well maybe two so I'm gonna actually zoom in on this canvas a little better whoop too far okay <laughs> there we go <laughs> Hey Tiffany, hey Monica, Brittany, Sharon, Marilyn, everybody. <laughs> yep, the Valentine's Day winner in the house. Okay, so first thing to know when painting with resin, if you'll notice that this has a bit of a dull sheen as opposed to this, oh my gosh, stop sticking, as opposed to this which is really shiny, um, that's because I sanded this. I also should sand this but I'm gonna worry about that later. Um, hey Anita. Yeah, so you wanna sand it before putting any additional layers of resin on it, otherwise things, it just won't stick. And you can use um, 220 for that. Nate, we literally just started one minute ago. <laughs> so you're good. Um, yeah, you can use 220. You can really use any grit on here. The whole point is to just rough it up and then you want to clean it. Um, so I thought that this kind of reminds me of a bit of a winter day. And um, yeah, so I thought I would add maybe some snowy mountains. We've been getting a lot of really cold weather here, which is very unusual, so. Hey Sharon, that's awesome. Um, Tiffany, that generally happens if you're uh, canvas is kind of sinking, sinking in the middle, so you probably want to just tighten up your canvas first. Um, yeah, this is going to be a second layer on here anyways, but we're just going in here with some acrylic paint, and I'm just going to go ahead in this corner. I'm not going to go crazy on this, but I'm going to just add kind of like a mountain range down here that will be snowy. Hey, spicy. <laughs> That's funny, Rachel. All right. I'm going to make this go probably a little higher. I don't know why. This sky just reminded me of like a winter day. So, figured that's what we'll do. And then for anyone that just walked in the door here, this is a resin painting and I'm uh, painting on top of it with acrylic here. And then I'll put another layer of paint, of resin on top of that, sorry. Sometimes I have paintings that come out maybe a little not exciting. <laughs> so maybe wanna add something to it. This is one of them. And we're just going to keep it pretty simple. <laughs> Thanks, Tyler. Yeah, and Tiffany, the other thing you can do is um, pre-paint it, like at least the sides, because that is pretty normal with canvas and resin. 
Um, so if you pre-paint the sides like a black or whatever, then it's not nearly as noticeable. All right, we're gonna just get in here. I don't have a palette knife like Bob Ross uses, but we're gonna fake it with the brush here. Give us some snowy mountains. Hey, Shadow Seeker, you're welcome. Always glad to help. I'm just kind of patting here with the white, giving um, a little bit of depth here. <laughs> yep, Bob, Bob's my friend. <laughs> okay. Just a little more over here, and then I think we're pretty much done. I'm going to add a little more, a little, little peak here. A little happy peak was right there. It's very snowy over on this side. All right. That's pretty much all there is to it. Keeping it simple. So just a little more. I think we're good now because this painting has directionality I think I will sign it and then we'll let it dry and then later tonight we'll throw a um, a layer of clear resin over it I'm just gonna sign this right here there we go All right. Um, Jenny Johnson, that's a great question. I haven't had time to announce it. I actually did notify the winner. So there's the winner of the big game painting, uh, which also I did a video today showing how it dried, but I didn't get a chance to post it yet. I was totally going to post it to Instagram. Let me get it real quick and show you. Because as it was drying, the Patriot side totally took over. So the painting really did anticipate that they were going to win. Uh, but anyways, the girl that won, her name is Lynn, and I did already notify her. I am going to do a video specifically announcing that. I just really haven't had time. I'm sorry, guys. I actually got behind on my videos. Okay. I'm gonna do a quick close-up. Here's our mountains. And then you can see the background there. So that'll be, uh, it'll pop back out once I put the, the clear resin on there. But yeah, there's our little snowy mountains. So now let's go ahead and we will do the uh, gold leaf. Because I don't know about you guys, but there was never, uh, Christine and my, oh, okay, I already did it, okay, good. There's a little lag on this computer here, or on the live videos, um, but uh, there's never like a book on how to do the, the gold leaf, so I don't know. I think it's something that people may be scared of, but it's actually like really easy, and it's really fun. So we're going to do just a little bit on this piece, I wanted to just, just do some right along this line here. Yeah, I think that will be good. I'm gonna do some there, okay. 
So basically, all you need is this uh, adhesive. So it says gilding adhesive. This is Martha Stewart, and that just happened to be what they had at Michael's. And, uh, but there's other brands. And then gold leafing, which usually comes in kind of these like packets, and because it's in between these sheets. And you gotta be careful because it will get everywhere. So there it is in between. This is this is a very old pack. <laughs> um, I'm gonna actually try to zoom in a little bit more. So I know, right? Everything's better with gold. Close your eyes, guys. It's gonna get wonky for a second. Hold on. Oh, that was not too bad. Do, do, do. Okay. So that way you guys can really see it. All right. Um, and someone had asked earlier if I was going to do any more Valentine's Day paintings. I don't actually know. We shall see. Okay. So I just use a paintbrush and dip it into my adhesive. And then we're going to go along here. And this at first looks white. And you can just put a thin layer on there. Wherever you want the gold leafing to go. Whoops. Try not to drip it. Okay, that side's getting a little extra gold. Okay. And now, we wait. That's all we do for now. We just let that, uh, we let that dry, and it will dry clear. Um, yeah, it'll dry clear. So once it's dry clear, then we're gonna go ahead and put the gold leaf on. So once again, we'll go ahead and set this aside. Okay. So it was just a fun little geode I made. And now, we're gonna mix up some resin and do a resin painting. <laughs> I already kind of started the process, so I've actually got the clear mixed up. And then I'm gonna go ahead and mix up the colors. So unfortunately, once again, I have to zoom out. So it's gonna be a little wonky again. Sorry guys, I didn't really think that one through. I should have done that one earlier. Here we go, zooming out. Whoop, there we go. Thank you, Monica. You rock. All right, let's get the gloves on. Okay. <laughs> and then um, I picked some fun colors tonight. These are, it's, I'm going a little bit different here. I'm going to go with Blushing Pink, which I know that Tina loves, artistically random. And then I'm going to go with this blue, which I unfortunately ripped the label, but this is Les Res and it's a metallic blue paste which is awesome and then I'll do uh, this is some um, hmm I actually don't think that this color will go with this I think we'll do some gold and then we'll do black and white base tints all right so let's get started with our mixing the background I'm gonna do primarily white so I'll do that in one of these big cups
Hopefully I mixed up enough epoxy. We'll find out. If not, we can always mix more. Okay, so people are asking um, how to fix a warped canvas frame. So generally speaking, they shouldn't warp, but it does sometimes happen when there's moisture. Um, so the best thing that I've found is to add more moisture and then add pressure while it dries. And that's really the only way that I know of to fix a warped frame. So you can try that. Yeah, there you go, Evelyn, you got it. I have totally had that happen as well, so it's it happens, unfortunately. But generally, good quality frames shouldn't warp, but you know, it happens. Oh, bugger. All right, let's get a vote on one more color here. Do we want gold or purple or both? <laughs> um, Robert, the answer is very carefully. <laughs> both. Okay. I'm very excited about this paste. I gotta mix it up real quick. I don't know that I've used this particular one before. Seems rather thick. All right, let's try that, see how it goes. Mardi Gras. Well, we're using pink and blue here already and white and black. So we'll do, 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 do the purple base tint, I guess. Yeah, you can still add moisture. You just got to be careful. All right, so the majority, uh, from what I could see, said both. So we're going to do both. And you know what we'll do? We'll do the gold dust. So that will be kind of the hint of gold more than the color gold. I love this freaking gold dust. <laughs> Okay, let's get these all mixed up. Well, there we go. Use all of the resin. Okay. Oh no, Justin. Missing a stick. <laughs> so how is everyone's week going? Is everyone prepared for Valentine's Day? 
<laughs> I'm so sorry, Heather. Oh, and guys, don't forget to thumbs up, by the way. That would be amazing. That would make my day. Also, for anyone who knows my husband, it is his birthday today. <laughs> so you should go tell him happy birthday, if you know him. You can go on his channel and tell him happy birthday if you want. Okay. Oop, where'd that cup come from? All right. I'm very excited about these colors here. So I have a 12 by 12 canvas. <laughs> um, that I prepped. I sprayed the back to tighten it up. And then I also um, sprayed the front with paint and primer. Get this safely out of the way. So it's pretty, pretty ready to go, I think. Yeah. Oh, and guys, I don't think I told you yet. Exciting news. Um, on Friday ish, I'm driving up to, uh, well, I'm driving up to see my sister in Seattle, but then I'm going to Stone Coat again. And um, so I will be with them on Tuesday. So that's really exciting. Okay, so first let's start with the white. Yeah, maybe I can set up like a meetup in Seattle, or, like Pike Place or something. I am always down for coffee. I will be hanging out with family though, so I won't have time to like go out of my way. <laughs> but I can definitely put out a notice of where I am if I'm hanging out somewhere. Come by and say hi. <laughs> yeah, no, not pregnant. At least not that I know of. Okay, there we have the white. Uh oh, there's a hair in there. Okay. My gloves are a mess. I'm gonna change my gloves real quick. And then I'm gonna get my heat gun. Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know I miss Johnny's live live paint night or live singing. He doesn't paint. <laughs> it wasn't my hair, I don't think. Although it had to have been, I guess. Who else's hair would it have been? Look at that short hair. I should heat this first. Okay, let's heat this. Yeah, it looked like a cat fur or something, but I don't have a cat, so I don't understand. Oh, well. I'm trying to get a cat, but Johnny is wearing for the life of his studio, which I understand. If I had all that expensive music equipment, I wouldn't want a cat in there either. So we have to figure out a way around that. So probably going to put up a wall for him <laughs> or something. Okay, good. 
So we have the entire front here covered with white. I totally had a plan earlier and I totally forgot what it was. I was going to actually do a geode, <laughs> but I forgot. So I'm going to have to do that next week. And I will have a video on it coming really soon, guys. Okay. And now let's go with the purple. And we're done. Just kidding. Okay, let's go in here with some black. Maybe I'll do a swipe. What do you guys think? A swipe? So here's the blue. I'm going to just make sure this is mixed up well enough. This is that uh, metallic blue paste. <laughs> no swipe. All right. And here's the pink, Tina, just for you. And then the gold. That's gold as being a rebel. <laughs> okay. Now we heat and tilt. And then we decide from there. Yeah, this is looking really cool so far. By the way, how did you guys who were here last week uh, like the um, the live video with Artists Till Death? That was super fun, yeah? All right. We all know that this is not going to end up with any white negative space. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, probably will. Ooh. 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 <laughs> oh my goodness. <gasps> That's it. That's it. That's a wrap. I am in love. What do you guys think? I'm in total love. I'm gonna get some of these edges here. And then I can show y'all a close up. I'm not gonna worry about the white edges. I'm just gonna worry about the edges that have the color on them. That is just magical. Ow. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay. It's like a unicorn.
Yeah. We have some fun cells popping up in there. Okay. I'm going to give you guys the close-up. Camera's going to shake. So beware. One second. These colors today together are so magical. Especially with that gold just like sitting on top. Like glittery. And here's... It's like... Love this right here. The purple, the pink, and the blue. Gorgeous. And I did leave some negative space. Very proud of myself. Over here we got some sellage. The black and the gold always look amazing together. And once again, some negative space over here. <laughs> A blue bowl. That is so cool. Yeah, no, I'm leaving that. I'm leaving that. I'm curious what it will do by itself as it dries. Uh, but I'm going to leave that. So one second. I'm putting this back in here. Okay. And if my phone pops out, it's because I lost the little rubber piece <laughs> from my, my uh, tripod. Okay. I do have more epoxy here. So, and I need to mix up some clear for the other ones anyway, so I think I'm going to just mix up some more real quick. First, I have to move this to a safe space. I know, right? Look at me, negative space. I feel so grown up. All right. So, who would like to do a little giveaway tonight? And I'm thinking either of this little... Um, geode that I'm putting the gold leafing on or possibly some coasters. Let me know. But maybe hold your thoughts because I'm going to move this. <laughs> so I won't be reading it. Okay. Careful. Zoinks you. All right, let's see, what were we doing? We're gonna mix up some more resin. Yep, yep. Put A, put B. Okay. Fudge sticks. <laughs> I totally just dropped the heat gun on my toe. That was not fun. Okay. <laughs> I give those to you. <laughs> All right, Yoda. Buffer dragons. El Spicy, I think it's just on your end because mine's just going fine. Oh, we also have the little painting with the mountains. That could be a good giveaway, yeah. Okay. Ow, my toe. <laughs> that really hurt. <laughs> okay. Okay, so let's see. What should we do? I've done the number game and that was fun, but psychotic. Um, and it has to be something where I choose the winner right here because otherwise people never get back to me about their prizes. Oh, who was that winner last week? Or the week before last actually. Whoever that was never got back to me about that prize which was the Curacao watercolor painting. Okay. I know, right? <laughs> People be cray-cray. Evelyn, sure, just mail me either one. <laughs> All right, 
let's do two games. Um, so we'll do a, anyone that donates tonight on um, the Super Chat or on PayPal, and that's just by the end of the night, will be entered to win the little geode dude. And then um, we can also do this mountain guy. Oh, goodness. I'm just dropping stuff left, right, and center tonight. Let's see. Getting the, just getting the resin stirred up. So for the mountain guy, let's do a... Hmm... I don't know. Okay, let's do a, go ahead and share, um, share any, share the video anywhere. Come back and say, did it. And then the winner will be chosen tomorrow and uh, it will be announced on the community page on the channel. So make sure you go and look at that tomorrow to see if you won so that you can claim your darn prize, okay? So that will be just a free giveaway. So if you want that, go ahead and share the video, come back and say did it, and then I'll choose a winner for that tomorrow. And then for the little geode one, that will be just anyone that donates via Super Chat or uh, PayPal tonight will be entered to win the geode. Okay, so to start with, we're just gonna clear coat this one. What's the community page? So if you um, if you go to the top of my home page on YouTube, it says home videos something else something else, and then it says community. It's a tab up at the top on the on the YouTube page. It's there. And you can get to it on your phone or computer. Cool. Thanks, guys. All right. <laughs> so, we'll go ahead and we'll just put some clear here. Now we'll heat it up. So heat gun warning. And a little more. Thank you, Kara. Do you see how that color pops when you put the resin on there? Love it. I'm just make sure that the top gets nice and covered. go. That is a beautiful winter day. So now because I was spreading this clear around, there's air bubbles in here again. So I'm going to torch this real quick just to get the air bubbles out. And then I'll set it aside and we'll, we'll do our gold looping. Um, <laughs> if I could figure out where I put my torch. There it is. Okay. This is my big girl torch.
And there we go. That's a wrap. Let's move that to a safe place. And I'm just going to put a really quick plug in for this one, actually. Anyone that didn't know yet, we are doing a Valentine's Day giveaway. And this is another free giveaway. It's for this awesome painting. I put quite a bit of work into, actually. And uh, you have to go to the last, uh, the MMG Valentine last video posted for that. So that has the details on how to enter that one. I know, I'm so in love with that painting, I kind of don't want to give it away. It's one of those, like, so in love with it. Okay. Let's do our gold leafing. Okay. So as you can see here now, this is dry. You can see a little white there, but it's not so bad. Um, ideally you can't see any white when you do it, but that's okay. We're going to go ahead. So you just take a little bit of this gold. Um, and we're going to just stick it to that adhesive. I'm going to try not, I got to avoid these, um, <laughs> these glass pieces that I put in here. So it's a little difficult, actually. I didn't really think that one through. That's okay. It'll work out fine. It's just going to be a slight pain in the ass. Oh, I just said ass. Sorry, guys. <laughs> what you guys don't know is that I swear like a sailor. But I try to keep it PC on the videos, especially live videos. So people are crazy. All right. So this is the geode. If anyone does the uh, PayPal or, oh, hey, Dan, um, or Super Chat tonight, you get entered to win this. This fun little guy. Okay. So we've got the gold on there. It looks like a hot mess at this point. I'm going to zoom in once again because I forgot to do that. And then I'm going to show you what we do from here. <laughs> Woo! Okay, too much. Sorry, guys. Okay, there we go. Sorry. I don't know why the zoom function on here is so difficult. <laughs> okay. So now I'm going to just take this uh, paintbrush and I'm going to just make sure that it's pressed down to my adhesive. And then I use this to just gently wipe away the excess. Of course, we have wet resin all over here, so this is going to be fun, but. Yeah, and then as you can see, it just sticks to the adhesive. And it is really important that you wait for the adhesive to fully dry. Like on this one spot, it wasn't fully dry. So that was um, not really the proper handling, but that's okay. Because we're on a live video and we have limited time. Um, but yeah. Then we just uh, get all this excess nonsense off. Do -do -do. Sorry. <laughs> and there we go. We have our gold leafing. I'm going to go ahead and I'll do a close-up on this. Oh. Okay, bye, Dad. I'll talk to you later. Okay. I know it's pretty zoomed in, so. There we go. See how it's a nice line there, and that's just where I put the adhesive. So now at this point, I'm going to carefully get rid of this extra gold nonsense, and then I'm going to put on a, a clear coat on top of this. So, let's see. I'm just gonna take a wet paper towel. 
I think that'll be the easiest. I honestly usually brush it off outside because that's how crazy this stuff can be. And of course it's stuck to the resin. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. Good. Now let's put our clear resin over there. I'm just making sure everything's all good. Here we go. And this is just a small wooden round MDF board. So we really shouldn't need too much on there. I'm gonna get the heat gun out. this one too and this was one that I just did with like leftover resin you know okay so now we just make sure that the resin goes everywhere we want it to And you know what I'm gonna do on this one too? I'm gonna do the same thing I did on the Valentine's Day paintings. I'm gonna put, this is a lot of white right here for me. I'm gonna just throw some of this gold dust in there. And this seems to be curing, so. I don't have a lot of time left with this other resin. And I think I will put a little over here as well. And that will just sit on top because it's, yeah, on top layer there. More gold. Can never go wrong with more gold. Okay, heat gun again. One second. flakes here I just want to fish out oh, there we go all done move it to the side once again I think the last thing that we'll do before we wrap up the evening here is um, do an alcohol ink coaster or two. Since we're already all zoomed in and we have this extra resin. See. I know we have at least enough to do one. Yeah, we pretty much have enough to do one. And this other one I'm gonna throw. Thank you, Tammy. I'm gonna just throw the rest of this uh, resin that's sitting over here. Hopefully it'll work out. It should be fine. I did heat this resin up a lot before I started because it's been cold. So I think that's causing it to cure a little faster than it normally would. Oh goodness. 
I'm sorry. <laughs> I wasn't even paying attention. Wasn't in the screen. Okay, I'm just putting the leftover resin in here. At least some of it. Are we in the screen now? There's such a lag on the computer. It's literally like several minutes lag. <laughs> okay. And some pink. Okay. So this will just be a fun, random coaster. Can you guys see how uh, that the resin's pouring so much slower? Because it's partially cured. Let's go ahead and heat gun that. Okay. And then set that aside. We'll go ahead and I'm going to heat gun this just to get some of those air bubbles out. And now let's have some fun with alcohol inks. Let's do purple. We'll do some pink. We'll do some blue. We'll do some green. And we'll do some white. So that should be plenty. Um, so I have a mixture of pinata and ranger inks. Move this a little more here. Yeah. Okay, I can't tell if we're caught up or not. There we go. Yeah, that's pinata. Okay. This delay is killing me. Okay. We'll move this a little more to this side. I hope that's the right side. Yeah. Okay, here we go. This is the purple. It's It looks pretty dark to start with. Oh, I'm using the same colors I just realized. <laughs> purple, green. Oh, I didn't use green, okay. Purple, blue, and pink though. So that's the green. And some blue. This will all come to life color-wise when I add the white. Alright, <laughs> and then here's the white. This is the fun part. I like to do this from as much distance as possible. Not any particular reason other than it's fun. It's like throwing uh, <laughs> water balloons off of a building. I haven't actually done that, but I've seen it in movies. Couple more. Mm, one, two more. Okay. Yes, the white is also alcohol ink and it's pinata specifically. So just one quick note about the pinata versus uh, the ranger inks is the pinata, I've noticed all of them are definitely heavier than the ranger inks. So. That's just a note. Um, so the white actually pushes the inks down into the resin. So obviously we can't look at the back right now because it's very wet. But tomorrow when it's dry, we can, well, probably a couple days I usually let it sit. We can let it, we can flip it over and we'll see the awesome back of that. Yeah. <laughs> I use my hands a lot when I talk. All right, guys, I think that's it for the night. I think we have done enough damage for one night. 
that was definitely longer than I was anticipating. <laughs> so uh, for anyone who didn't hear about the giveaways yet, we're doing a giveaway of the geode, little geode for anyone that um, donates via PayPal or um, Super Chat tonight. And then we're doing a giveaway of the mountain painting to anyone who shares it and then comes back and says, did it. <laughs> um, and that's tonight as well. And then tomorrow I will pick the winners and I will announce them on the community page and probably also do a little short video. So please, please, please watch for your name, please. So you can claim your prizes. And yeah, next week we'll be with Stone Coat on Tuesday. So super excited. So if you can tune into their channel on Tuesday, um, that will be super fun. And, and then of course the Valentine's Day painting. Tomorrow is the last day to enter on that one. And that, let me actually get you the link for that. One second guys, I'll get you the link for that video in case anyone missed it. Please hold. Because I don't know about you, but I love that. Um, I love that painting that I did, the Valentine's Day one. And then I was looking at some of the answers that people were giving for the the that particular giveaway. And what I, it's a, I'm doing it a little different where I'm having people nominate someone else that they want to give the painting to. Um, and just some of the answers that I'm getting, some of the nominations... I literally sat there and read only like five of them and I was already bawling my eyes out. <laughs> so here is the video where that is at. Um, how late can people donate tonight to be entered? Um, until I wake up in the morning. <laughs> so <laughs> that's, it's fine. Um, yeah, so I just posted the link for that. And, um, that's, you know, it's just, it's, it's for your Valentine. It could be a, a parent, a spouse, a kid, a friend. It could be anyone, you, a coworker. I don't care who it is. You know what I mean? Um, just why should they win that painting? I would love to hear. I don't know how I'm going to choose, <laughs> but yeah. All right, guys. I love you. The charming giraffe. Yes, I will sleep in. Yes, I am a big baby. I cry at all weddings. I'm just saying. <laughs> all right. Love you guys. I'm